Would we have all S puppies in the hound group to ring 23 now, please? That's all S puppies in the hound group in ring 23 now. Thank you.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to group judging at Windsor. The first group today to be judged will be the Hound Group, and the Hound Group judge is Sue Erges. 2023 is a special year for Sue, as this is the year she celebrates 50 years as an exhibitor at dog shows. She started off showing Basset Hounds, but is now highly regarded breeding miniature smooth-haired Daxies under her Sioux line affix. She has made up 26 champions in Basset Hounds, miniature smooth Daxons and miniature wired-haired Daxons. And this is the fifth time that she has had the honour of judging the Hound Group. Please give her a very warm Windsor welcome as she's escorted into the ring by Gerald King, our chairman. First into the ring is the Afghan Hound, followed by the Basenji, the Basset Griffin Vendéon Grand, the Basset Griffin Vendéon Petit, the Basset Hound, uh, sorry, apologies, the Beagle, the Blood Hound, the Borzoi, the Cherneco Deletna, the Dachshund Long Haired, the Dachshund Miniature Long Haired, the Dachshund Smooth Haired, the Dachshund Miniature Smooth, miniature smooth Haired, the Dachshund Wire Haired, and the Dachshund Miniature Wire Haired. Followed by the Deer Hound, the Finnish Spitz. No, no Finnish Spitz, the Greyhound, the Hamilton Stovery, the Ibethan Hound, the Irish Wolfhound, the Norwegian Elkhound, the Otter Hound, the Pharaoh Hound, the Portuguese Potengo, the Rhodesian Ridgeback, the Saluki, the Whippet, the Slugi, and the Black and Tan Coonhound.
The first dog to be examined is the Afghan Hound. Mr. D. Draversari was the breed judge today, and from an entry of 74, he selected as his best to breed the dog, number 4931. The Afghan is a very ancient dog, believed to hail from the Sinai and mentioned in Egyptian papyruses, or papyruses, depending on which way you say it. Its exportation was always prohibited, and it only reached Europe as contraband. Strong and dignified, powerful and noble, the Afghan Hound. Number 4931, the Afghan Hound. On the table is the Basenji. Paul Singleton was the breed judge today, and from an entry of 31, he selected the dog, number 4985, as his best of breed. The first traces of a dog similar to the Basenji are found in Egyptian tombs and wall drawings of around 5,000 years ago. Also known as the Congo dog, it was first brought to Europe in 1934. English breeders refined it and have exported it worldwide. The Basenji. Number 4985, the Basenji. On the table now is the Basset Fauve de Bretagne. Mr. C. Gillanders was the breed judge today. And from an entry of 39, his best of breed was number 5020, a bitch. This breed originates in France and is the result of numerous crossings between the Grand Griffin Fauve de Bretagne and the Basset Vendéen. Instantly recognizable for its reddish fawn color, it is a tenacious, sturdy hound, ideal for hunting on plateaus, heaths, and brambles, and outside of France, it has achieved popularity as a companion dog, the Basset Fauve de Bretagne. Number 5020, the Basset Fauve de Bretagne. Now we have the Basset Griffin Vendéon Grand. Mr. C. Gillanders was the breed judge again, 
and from an entry of 24, he selected the bitch number 5071 as his best of breed. The grong was developed from the Saint Hubert, the white and tan Italian hound, and the king's white grong griffon. One of the best hunting hounds, it was used for deer and wild boar hunting. A pleasing personality coupled with an amusing expression, the breed arrived in the UK in 1990, the Basset Griffin Vendéon Grand. Number 5071, the Basset Griffin Vendéon Grand. On the table now is the Basset Griffin Vendéon Petit. Mr. Gillanders was the judge of this breed also, and from an entry of 44, he selected the dog, number 5081, as his best of breed. Known universally as the PBGV, it came to these shores in 1969 from Western France. Low to the ground, as denoted by the term Basset, this breed makes everyone smile whenever it comes into a room and is a typical hound, more at home in the country, picking up dead leaves in his beard as he seeks out his prey. The Basset Griffin, Vendéon Petit. Number 5081, the, Graf, the Basset Griffin Vendéon Petit. On the table now is the Beagle. Mrs. C. Lewis was the judge today, and from an entry of 85, she chose the dog number 5245 as her best of breed. Descended from the Harrier and the larger Foxhound, and popularized by Charles Schultz as Charlie Brown's cartoon dog, Snoopy. Beagles are probably the most popular hound chosen as a family pet. Renowned for their hunting prowess, they've featured in many artists' paintings over the years. The Beagle. Number 5245, the Beagle. Now we have the Bloodhound. 
Bloodhounds were judged today by Mr. Mark Kokosa, and from an entry of 25, he selected the bitch, number 5272, as his best of breed. More than a thousand years old, this breed was perfected by the monks of Saint Hubert in Belgium. It probably arrived with the Normans to the UK in 1066. Its ability to follow human scent, sometimes several days old, is second to none. Once heard, never forgotten. The Bloodhound. Number 5272, the Bloodhound. Next we have the Borzoi. Miss J. Clare was the breed judge today, and from her entry of 42, selected the bitch, number 5314, as best of breed. Imported to Russia from Arabia in 1600 by a nobleman, this wolf hunter is famously associated with the aristocracy, and the first examples here in the UK were a gift from the Tsar of all the Russias to Queen Alexandra. A sensitive, noble, and aloof demeanor perfectly describes the Borzoi. Number 5314, the Borzoi. Next, we have the Cherneko de Letna. Frank Kane was the breed judge today, and from an entry of 13, he chose the dog, number 5329, as his best of breed. The Cherneko is descended from greyhounds that were brought to Sicily over 3,000 years ago. This breed hunted on the slopes of Mount Etna and is reputed to be able to come up on a hare without the slightest noise. A smaller version of its Maltese cousin, the Pharaoh Hound, it is very fast and surprisingly easy to train, a very rare quality in a hound, the Cherneko de Letna. Number 5329, the Cherneko de Letna. On the table now, we have the Dachshund Longhaired. Ms. Zara Boyle was the breed judge today, and from an entry of 43, she selected the dog, number 5406, as her best of breed.
Although there are six varieties of Dachshund, they're basically the same breed. Standards can weigh up to 26 pounds or 12 kilos, and miniatures no more than 11 pounds or 5 kilos. The first images of Dachshunds appear in a pharaoh's tomb that dates back over 5,000 years. Number 5365, the Dachshund Longhaired. On the table now is the Dachshund Miniature Longhaired. Miss Elle Armstrong was the breed judge today. And from an entry of 49, the dog, number 5406, was her choice for best of breed. The ancient ancestor of the Dachshund was known as the Tekel a term retained today by the Germans. Its purpose was to root out badgers from their dens, and this required not only courage, but powerful jaws, most noticeable when comparing muzzle length with that of many larger breeds. Number 5406, the Dachshund Miniature Longhaired. On the table now, the Dachshund Smooth Haired. Mrs. Viv Phillips was the breed judge today, and from an entry of 62, she selected the dog, number 5449, as her best of breed. Dachshunds make excellent companions but require firmness in their early training as they can be notoriously stubborn, a fact to which I can personally relate. Number 5449, the Dachshund Smooth Haired. On the table now, the Dachshund Miniature Smooth Haired. Anthony Bongiovanni was the judge today, and from an entry of 88, selected the bitch, number 5525, as his best of breed. In its native country, sizes of Dachshund are separated not by weight, but by the circumference of their chest. 
This is based on what size of hole they can enter when going to ground. Number 5525, the Daxon Miniature Smooth Haired. On the table now, the Daxon Wire Haired. Miss L. Armstrong was the breed judge, and she selected the dog number 5598 from an entry of 53 as her best of breed. This is the third version of coats that the Daxons have, and these are the wires who have short, straight, harsh hair. Number 5598, the Dachshund wire haired. And on the table now, the Dachshund miniature wire haired. Frank Kane was the breed judge today, and from an entry of 48, he chose the dog number 5656. As I said with the previous dog, the wires have short, straight, harsh hair with a magnificent beard and those wonderful bushy eyebrows. Of course, the long haireds have a soft coat, which is either straight or slightly wavy, and the smooths have dense short coats. This is the miniature wire hair. Number 5656, the Dachshund Miniature Wire Haired. Now we have the Deerhound. Keith Pursglove was the breed judge today, and from an entry of 33, he chose the dog, number 5692, as his best of breed. Known at one time as the Scottish Deerhound, Described by Sir Walter Scott as the most perfect creature in the world, not much is known about the origins of this docile, elegant dog. 
It may have been taken to Scotland by the Phoenician traders, and I know this will upset some deerhound people, but that's what all the research tells me. For over a thousand years, it was used to hunt red deer and has changed very little in appearance, the deerhound. Number 5692, the Deerhound. Now we have the Greyhound. Mrs. J. Ridley was the breed judge today, and from an entry of 35, selected the bitch, number 5697, as her best of breed. This is another breed originating from the Middle East and found depicted on the walls of some pharaoh's tombs over 5,000 years ago. The breed was developed over many centuries in Britain. Renowned for its speed, the Greyhound is probably the fastest of all dogs, reaching speeds of 45 miles per hour, beaten only by the cheetah, the Greyhound. Number 5697, the Greyhound. Now we have the Hamilton Stovery. Frank Kane was the breed judge today, and from an entry of 10, selected the dog, number 5729, as his best of breed. The Hamilton Stovery originates from Sweden, where it was developed in the late 1800s by the founder of the Swedish Kennel Club, Count Adolf Patrick Hamilton. Its ancestors include the English Foxhound and the Hanover, Holstein and Curlandia Hounds. They were used to hunt foxes and hares, either alone or in pairs. The Hamilton Stovery. Number 5729, the Hamilton Stovery. Now we have the Abethan Hound. Jenny Startup was the breed judge today, and from an entry of eight, she selected the bitch, number 5741, as her best of breed. Originating from the Balearic island of Ibiza and its smaller neighbor, Formentera, where this breed has been known to exist for over 5,000 years. One of the many pedencos, the Spanish for hound, this breed shares many characteristics with other Mediterranean hounds insofar as it is proud, noble and agile, the Abethan hound.
number 5741, the Abethan Hound. Now we have the Irish Wolfhound. Mr A. Leffley was the breed judge today and he had an entry of 53 and chose the dog, number 5772, as his best of breed. Used by the ancient Celts for hunting wolves, the breed was brought to Ireland by the Romans. It almost ceased to exist after the last wolf there was killed in 1800, and it is rumoured that it was revitalised by the introduction of Great Dane and Deerhound bloodlines, and a breed club was formed in 1885, the Irish Wolfhound. Number 5772, the Irish Wolfhound. Now we have the Norwegian Elk Hound. Viv Phillips was the breed judge today, and from an entry of 17, she chose the dog number 5806 as her best of breed. An ancient breed reputed to be many thousands of years old, it has a remarkable sense of smell reputedly being able to detect an elk from several kilometers away. It is also highly prized as a sled dog. The Norwegian Defence Minister has the power to seize all privately owned dogs in the event of war. The Norwegian Elk Hound. Number 5806, the Norwegian Elk Hound. Now we have the Otter Hound. Ben Reynolds Frost was the breed judge today. He had an entry of nine and selected the dog, number 5816, as his best of breed. Otter Hounds are one of our vulnerable native breeds. As their name implies, they were originally used to hunt otters until 1978, when this was banned. Their sense of smell is so acute that they can detect an otter that has passed through water the night before and follow for 12 hours and, possessing amazing stamina, can swim in the water for up to five hours. The otter hound.
Number 5816, the Otter Hound. Now we have the Pharaoh Hound. Jenny Startup was the breed judge, and from an entry of 10, she chose the bitch number 5826 as her best of breed. Bearing an uncanny resemblance to the dogs depicted in the ancient Egyptian tombs, this breed was brought to its native Malta by the Phoenicians in 1000 BC. It was used to hunt both birds and game. Introduced to the UK in the 1970s, it's still a numerically small breed, the Pharaoh Hound. Number 5826, the Pharaoh Hound. On the table now, we have the Portuguese Pedengo. Mark Cocosa was the breed judge today, and from an entry of nine, he selected the dog number 5833 as his best of breed. Formerly known as the Portuguese Warren Hound, in the native country there are three distinct sizes combined with two coat types, smooth or wired. In the UK, it's the smallest variety that we see. They are excellent rabbit hunters and apparently good mousers, the Portuguese Pedengo. Number 5833, the Portuguese Pedengo. Now we have the Rhodesian Ridgeback. Ben Reynolds Frost was the breed judge, and from an entry of 65, he chose the dog number 5862 as his best of breed. Instantly recognised by the ridge of hair growing the wrong way down its spine, a characteristic shared by two other breeds, the Thai Ridgeback and the Poo Kwok Ridgeback. Used to hunt big game, including lions, this breed was developed by the Boers in the 19th century, the Rhodesian Ridgeback. Number 5862, the Rhodesian Ridgeback. 
Now we have the Saluki. Paul Singleton was the breed judge, and from an entry of 33, selected the dog, number 5909, as his best of breed. Sometimes referred to as the Persian Greyhound, it's thought to possibly derive from the ancient Arabic city of Saluk, which is in modern Yemen, or Seleucia, the capital of the Persian Empire, which was absorbed by Baghdad. It's believed the dog is a sacred gift of Allah. Used to hunt gazelle in Persia, it has long been a prized possession of sheikhs. The Saluki. Number 5909, the Saluki. On the table now, the Whippet. Ian Sexton was the breed judge, and from a huge entry of 166, selected the bitch, number 5999, as his best of breed. Although viewed as a British breed, the Whippet was recognized in the United States of America in 1888 and in the UK in 1890. The Duchess of Newcastle succeeded in persuading the Kennel Club to acknowledge the newly formed breed club in 1899. The name is derived from the expression whip it, meaning to move quickly, the whip it. Number 5999, the Whippet. From the AV Hound not separately classified today, Mr. R.I. Miller selected from an entry of seven, the dog, number 6069, as his best of breed. The Slugi, or Arabian Greyhound, is an ancient breed of domesticated dog, specifically a member of the Sighthound family. It originates from North Africa and is found in Algeria, Tunisia, Morocco and Libya. Number 6069, the Slugi. Now we have the winner of the AV Imported Register Breeds Hound, 
Judged today by Mr. R. Miller, from an entry of seven, he selected the bitch, number 6071, and this is a black and tan coonhound. The black and tan coonhound is a hunting dog developed in the United States from a cross between the bloodhound and the black and tan Virginia foxhound. This scent hound runs game entirely by scent and it's used precisely, and not surprisingly, for hunting raccoons. Number 6071, the black and tan Kunha. <laughs> now we have a, a late comer, the Bassett Hound. Viv Phillips was the breed judge today. And from an entry of 66, she chose the dog, number 5135, as her best of breed. The Basset is an old breed descended from the Bloodhound. Shakespeare poetically described it as having ears which sweep away the morning dew. First presented to the Paris Dog Show in 1863, its popularity spread and it was recognised by the Kennel Club 20 years later in 1883 and it was subsequently developed in Britain, the Bassett Hound. Sue's now having a last look around the best of breeds in the main ring before she makes her final selection for a shortlist. And being brought out for further consideration, the Basset Griffin Vendéon Petit, the Beagle, the Bloodhound, the Wirehaired Dachshund, the Greyhound, the Saluki, the Whippet, and the Basset Hound.
The dogs are now going round the main ring, will take their positions at the top, and I'm sure Sue will assess them once again. The Petit Passé Griffin Vendéon Petit. <laughs> the Beagle. The Bloodhound. The Greyhound. The Daxon wire haired. The Saluki. The Whippet. The Bassett Hound.
Sue's now casting her eye for one last time over the lineup. And we're now ready for the board, so clearly a decision is imminent. And the winner of the hand group is the Saluki. Group two, the Beagle. Group three, the Dachshund Wirehaired. And group four, the Basset Hound. Please give the others a big hand as they're leaving the ring. And coming into the ring now, on behalf of Windsor, presenting the trophy is Mr. John Raymond, accompanied by Jonathan Wilson Home, representing Royal Cannon, one of our major sponsors, and of course, President Misuna Gore with the Rosettes. Each group winner today receives a lovely sash in addition from our dogs, and a Windsor goodie bag. And take them around, please. The winner of the hand group, the Saluki. Group two, the Beagle. Group three, the Daxon Wirehaired. And group four, the Bassett Hound. The group winner's photograph will be taken in the main ring, and the, the other placings will all be done in the admin block. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, all puppy groups at Windsor this year are being judged by Derek Smith. Derek has already prejudged the puppies and he will make his final selection from those coming into the ring just now. Uh, please give him a very warm welcome as he's escorted into the ring by our chairman, Mr. Gerald King. First into the ring is the Bassett Hound, followed by the Hamilton Stovery, the Afghan Hound, the Bisenji, the Bassett Fauve de Bretagne, the Petit Bassett Griffin Vendion, the Grand Bassett Griffin Vendion, the Beagle, the Bloodhound, the Daxon Longhaired, the Daxon Miniature Longhaired, the Daxon Smooth, the Dachshund Miniature Smooth-Haired, the Dachshund Wire-Haired, and the Dachshund Miniature Wire-Haired. The Greyhound, the Norwegian Elkhound, the Rhodesian Ridgeback, the Saluki, the Whippet, the Slugi, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. All veteran hound winners, please make your way now to the collecting ring, please. All veteran hound winners, please go to the collecting ring now. Thank you. Mr. Smith had two dogs that he hadn't previously examined. The first one was the Bassett Town, and of course this one is the Hamilton Stovery. And my apologies to the winner of the AV Imported Register. It's of course the Azawak, not a Slugie. And being pulled out for further consideration is the Basenji, 
Le Bansay Griffin Vendée en Petit, The Beagle, The Dachshund Smooth Haired, The Rhodesian Ridgeback, The Whippet, and The Basset Town. Please give a big thank you to everyone else leaving the ring. Mr. Smith's now moving the remaining dogs round the ring to take their positions up at the top end. Now moving again, the Basenji. The Basay Griffin Vendéon Petit. The Beagle. The Dachshund Smooth Haired. The Rhodesian Ridgeback. The Whippet. And finally, the Basset Hound. Derek's now having one final look at the remaining dogs before he asks for the boards to be come out. So clearly we have an imminent winner. And the winner of the puppy hound group is the Whippet. Group two is the Basset Hound. Group three, the Basset Griffin Vendéon Petit. And group four, the Beagle. Thank you very much to the others as they're leaving the ring.
coming into the ring now, presenting the trophy on behalf of Windsor is Mr. John Raymond, also with a plate in a bag. And Jonathan Wissenholm on behalf of Royal Cannon is presenting the vouchers. Royal Cannon, of course, being one of our major sponsors. Can you take them around, please? The winner of the Puppy Hound Group, the Whippet. Group two, the Basset Hound. Group three, the Basset Griffin Vendée en Petit. And group four, the Beagle. The group winner's photograph will be taken in the main ring. Thank you, the other three. Ladies and gentlemen, veteran groups were originally going to be judged by Meg Purnell Carpenter, but after her sad demise, Derek Smith volunteered to take over the engagement. So Derek is judging all veteran groups at the show also, and hasn't had the opportunity to prejudge the veterans today, so he will judge them when they all come into the ring. now going to be escorted into the ring by our chairman, Mr. Gerald King. Please give Derek another warm welcome. And first into the ring is the Basenji, followed by the Basse Fauve de Bretagne, the Basse Griffin Vendée en Grand, the Basset Griffin Vendée en Petit, the Basset Hound, the Beagle, the Dachshund Miniature Smooth Haired, the Greyhound, the Hamilton Stovery, the Norwegian Elk Hound, the Rhodesian Ridgeback, and the Whippet. Can I have your attention, please? Would all best of breed winners in the utility group please make your way now to the collecting ring? All best of breed winners in the utility group please make your way now to the collecting ring. Thank you. 
and on the table we had the Basenji. Paul Singleton was the group was the breed judge today, and he selected his veteran from the dog number four nine eight five. Now on the table, we have the Basset Fauve de Bretagne. Mr. C. Gillanders was the breed judge today, and he found his veteran in the dog, number 5031. Can I have your attention, please, all utility puppies to ring 23 for their prejudging. All utility group puppies, please make your way to ring 23 for your prejudging. Thank you. Now we have the Bassey Griffin Vendion Grand. Mr. C. Gillanders was the breed judge for this breed also and he found his dog, number 5058, as a veteran. On the table now is the Basset Griffin Vendéon Petit. Mr. C. Gillanders judged this breed also, and he found his veteran in the dog, number 5081. Bassett Hounds were judged today by Mrs. Viv Phillips and I'm afraid I don't have a number for the veteran Bassett Hound. I'll give you that shortly. Number 5122, thank you to the judge. the table now we have the beagle mrs c lewis was the breed judge today and she found her veteran in the dog number five two five zero
On the table now, the Dachshund miniature smooth-haired. Anthony Bongiovanni was the judge, and he found his veteran today in number 5504. Now we have the Greyhound. Mrs. J. Ridley was the breed judge today, and she found her veteran in the dog, number 5714. Hamilton Stover is were judged today by Frank Kane and he found his best veteran in the dog number 5726 Now we have the Norwegian elk hound. Viv Phillips was the breed judge, and she found her best veteran in the dog, number 5808. Now we have the Rhodesian Ridgeback. Ben Reynolds Frost was the breed judge today and he found his veteran in the bitch, number 5891.
Whippets were judged by Mr. Ian Sexton, and he found his veteran today in the dog, number 5975. Derek's now casting his eye around the assembled veterans for the last time. He's now pulling out the Basenji, the Basset Griffin Vendée en Petit, the Basset Hound, the Beagle. The Greyhound, the Norwegian Elk Hound, and the Whippet. Please say a big thank you to the rest as they're leaving the ring. Mr. Smith has now asked for the boards to be brought out, so a decision is imminent. And the veteran hound group winner, the Beagle. Group two, the Basenji. Group three, the Basse Griffin Vendéon Petit. And group four, the Whippet. Please give the remaining three a big hand as they're leaving the ring. Gerald King is presenting the trophies on behalf of Windsor, along with Jonathan Wustenholm, representing Royal Cannon, one of our major sponsors. Please take them round. The winner of the Veteran Hound Group, the Beagle. Group two, the Basenji. Group three, the Basse Griffin Vendée en Petit. And group four, the Whippet. The group winner will have photograph taken in the main ring. Thank you, the other three.
Ladies and gentlemen, the final group to be judged today is the utility group. Jean Sharp Bale is very well known as an exhibitor and usually is to be seen actually exhibiting in this group. But today, she's judging the group. Jean has been breeding caissons under her Neridmic affix since 1975. Many of the dogs bred by her have gone on to become the foundation stock for so many of the recent successful kennels in the breed. Jean is on record as saying that her life changed when she acquired the famous Buster, champion Ledwell Lysander, with whom she won Best in Show here at Windsor. Please give her a very warm welcome as she's escorted into the ring by our chairman, Gerald King, Mrs. Jean Sharp Bale. First into the group is the Akita, followed by the Boston Terrier, the Bulldog, the Chow Chow, the Dalmatian, the Eurasia, the French Bulldog, the German Spitz Klein, the German Spitz Mittel, the Japanese Akita Inu, the Japanese Shiba Inu, the Japanese Spitz, the Kaisand, the Koiker Honje, the Laza Apso, the Miniature Schnauzer, the Poodle Miniature, the Poodle Standard, and the Poodle Toy, the Skipper Key, the Schnauzer, the Sarpe, the Tibetans, sorry, the Shih Tzu, the Tibetan Spaniel, the Tibetan Terrier, and the winner of the AV Imported Register, the Korean Jindo.
And the first dog to be examined is the Akita. Mrs. V. Geddes was the breed judge today, and from an entry of 23, she selected the dog number 6079 as her best of breed. This breed emerged 300 years ago and was originally developed as a fighting dog. Later, it was used for hunting black bear, wild boar and deer. It was imported to the USA and it was transformed into the American Akita and was used extensively as a guard dog where it became the breed we recognize today. When it came to the UK, it was first known as the Japanese Akita. The Akita. Number 6079, the Akita. On the table, we have the Boston Terrier. Mrs. F. King was the breed judge today, and from an entry of 64, chose the bitch, number 6125, as her best of breed. First shown in Boston in the USA in 1870, this breed came about as a result of breeding bulldogs French Bulldogs, Bull Terriers and Boxers and can truly be described as a made in America dog as a consequence of combining French and British blood, the Boston Terrier. Number 6125, the Boston Terrier. Now we have the Bulldog. Mr. S. Davids, Davidson was the breed judge today, and from an, an entry of 63, chose the bitch, number 6179, as best of breed. The legendary British Bulldog was originally used for bull baiting in addition to being a fighting dog. It underwent a transformation in the early 19th century and appeared in the Shoring in 1860 as a much shorter squat dog. His bulk belies the speed at which he can move if necessary. The Bulldog. Number 6179, the Bulldog. Now we have the Chow Chow. 
Miss T. Carr was the breed judge today. And from an entry of 33, the bitch, number 6236, was her selection for best of breed. The Chow Chow is a Chinese breed originally kept as a guard dog and a hunter. It first came to the UK on the merchant ships that traded with the Far East. One was gifted to the Prince of Wales, later to become King Edward VII. They became popular in the 1920s and a few were shown at Crofts in 1925. The Chow Chow. Number 6236, the Chow Chow. Now we have the Dalmatian. Miss D. Precious was the breed judge today, and from an entry of 127, chose the bitch, number 6336, as her best of breed. The Dalmatian was used as a carriage dog in the 1800s. It was also used as a runner by the London Fire Service to run ahead of its horse-drawn engines. Being born completely white makes it impossible to predict whether it will develop black or liver spots. Popularised by a childhood favourite Disney film, The Dalmatian. Number 6336, the Dalmatian. Now we have the Eurasia. Peter Young was the breed judge today, and from an entry of nine, chose the dog, number 6357, as his best of breed. This Spitz breed is a relative newcomer, having been developed in Germany in the 1950s, using the Cajund, Chow Chow and later the Samoyed. The breed was recognised by the FCI in 1973, having previously been known as the Wolf Chow and was renamed the Eurasia. The breed standard was rewritten the next year. The breed was recognised in the UK in 2013, the Eurasia. Number 6357, the Eurasia. 
Now we have on the table the French Bulldog. Judged today by the lady on my right, Mrs. Liz Cartledge, from an entry of 107, she chose as her best to breed the dog, number 6378. A native French breed with some bull British Bulldog influence during the 19th century, we now have the French Bulldog. They are instantly recognisable because of their large, bat-like ears. First recognised by the Kennel Club in 1906, this breed has seen a meteoric rise in popularity with almost 40,000 puppy registrations at the end of 2020 alone. The French Bulldog. Number 6378, the French Bulldog. On the table now is the German Spitz Klein. Mrs. M. Craig Woodward was the judge, and from an entry of 31, chose the bitch, number 6472, as best of breed. In its country of origin, the breed is recognised in five distinct varieties, two of which are recognised by our kennel club. The Klein is the smaller version, being under 12 inches in height, and was once known as the miniature Spitz. To complicate matters further, a Klein can be as large as a Mitto, its larger relative, the German Spitz Klein. Number 6472, the German Spitz Klein. On the table now, the German Spitz Mittel. Mrs. M. Craig Woodward judged this breed also, and from an entry of 29, chose the dog, number 6504, as best of breed. The larger of the two varieties, the Mittel, or medium, is between 12 and 15 inches in height. Thought to descend from the largest Spitz dogs brought from Scandinavia by the Vikings, all fell under one name, Mistbeller, translated as Dunghill Barker, as they stood on muck heaps and barked. The German Spitz Mitto.
Number 6504, the German Spitzmittel. Now we have the Japanese Akita Inu. Peter Young judged the breed today and from an entry of 21 chose the dog number 6512 as best of breed. Native to the island of Honshu, this breed has remained unchanged for centuries. In 1931, it was declared the national dog of Japan. In 2006, the Japanese Akita Inu was recognized by the Kennel Club as being closest to the original breed, the Japanese Akita Inu. Number 6512, the Japanese Akita Inu. On the table, we have the Japanese Shiba Inu. Judged today by Mr. E. Casey, who found his best of breed in the dog, number 6538, from an entry of 29. A very ancient breed, most probably brought to Japan from China over 2,000 years ago. It's often referred to as a primitive breed. The name literally means small dog. It was used to hunt small game birds. A notable feature is the Shiba scream when excited, the Japanese Shiba Inu. Number 6538, the Japanese Shiba Inu. On the table now, the Japanese Spitz. Mr. R. McLeod was the breed judge, and from an entry of 48, number 6583, the dog, was selected as best of breed. The Japanese Spitz was taken from the Nordic countries to J Japan in the 20th century and developed into the breed we know today. It was first shown in Tokyo in 1921, although not recognised by the Japanese Kennel Club until 1948. Recognition by our Kennel Club came in 1977. The Japanese Spitz. Number 6583, the Japanese Spitz.
Now we have the Cajant. Mrs M Harris was the breed judge today and from an entry of 26, she chose the bitch number 662824, I apologize, 6624 as best of breed. The Dutch barge dog was a symbol of working and middle class patriots led by Cordelius de Geisler, nicknamed Kays. After a decline of some 150 years, it re-emerged and became popular once again in the early 1920s. The first import arrived in the UK in 1905, the Kaysant. Number 6624, the case hunt. Now we have the Koiker Honje. Peter Young was the breed judge, and from an entry of 11, he chose the dog number 6630 as best to breed. The Koiker Honje translates as the duck catcher's small dog. It was used as a decoy to lure ducks into traps. The breed almost disappeared and was revived only after the Second World War. It was only recognised by the Dutch Kennel Club in 1971 and, 25 years later, it was recognised by the Kennel Club and first placed into the Gundog Group, the Koiker Honje. Number 6630, the Koiker Honjo. On the table now, we have the Laza Apso. Mrs. J. Bromley was the breed judge today, and from an entry of 54, found her best of breed in the dog, number 6690. Named after the sacred city of Laza, the capital of Tibet is the Laza Apso. When the country converted to Buddhism in the 7th century, the little lion dog was established. It's reputed that Tibetan priests who failed to reach Nirvana are actually reincarnated as Lazas. The breed first arrived in the UK in the 1920s, the Laza Apso.
number 6690, the Lazap. So, on the table now, the miniature schnauzer. Mrs. S. Waring was the breed judge today, and from an entry of 51, selected dog number 6720 as her best of breed. The smallest of the three varieties, the miniature schnauzer is descended from ancient terriers and also has Affenpincher blood in its veins. At the International Show in Hanover in 1879, the winner of the wire-haired pincher class was called Schnauzer, and this is the origin of the present-day name, the miniature Schnauzer. Number 6720, the miniature schnauzer. <laughs> On the table now, the first of the poodles, the miniature. Mrs. V. Walker was the breed judge today, and from an entry of 44, chose the bitch, number 6755, as best of breed. There are three sizes of poodle, although there are four on the continent. Miniatures should be under 15 inches tall, but not under 11 inches. Although referred to as being French, it's believed the poodle originated in Germany, where it was used as a retriever in the marshes. the Poodle Standard. Sharon Pine Hayes was the breed judge today and from an entry of 80 she chose the dog number 6818 as her best of breed. Number 6818, the Poodle Standard.
On the table now we have the poodle toy. Mr S Vidler was the breed judge today and from an entry of 26 chose the dog number 6850 as best of breed. Toys should be under 11 inches in height. On some of the trims there are pom-poms and there's a practical reason for the elaborate pom-poms seen on the legs and over the hips and that's namely to keep the dog's muscles and kidneys warm whilst they were in water. So it's not just for aesthetic appeal. Number 6850, the Poodle Toy. On the table now, the Skipper K. Mr R McLeod was the breed judge and from an entry of eight, chose the bitch, number 6875, as best of breed. The breed originates from the canals of Belgium and Holland where they were used to keep the rat population under control and also to guard the barges. First bred in Flanders, the breed can lay claim to the very first single breed dog show in 1690, which was staged by Shoemaker Guild workman, the Skipper Cape. Number 6875, the Skipper Key. Now we have the Schnauzer. Mr S. Waring was the breed judge, and from an entry of 27, chose the dog, number 6895, as best of breed. This is the middle-sized variety. The breed originates from Bavaria. Schnauzer is the German word for muzzle. Commonly referred to as the standard Schnauzer, this is an all-round farm dog, having been used as a ratter, drover's dog, stable guard, and to pull carts to the market, the Schnauzer. Number 6895, Schnauzer. Now we have the Sharpe. Judged today by Mr. A. Stevenson. From an entry of 12, he chose as his best to breed the dog. Number 6913. 
Controversy reigns over the pronunciation of this breed. Some devotees insist on sarpe, along the lines of I say tomato, you say tomato. Originally renowned as a ferocious fighting dog over the centuries, it was also used as a hunter and guard dog. The first example of the breed arrived in the UK in 1981, and CC status was granted 18 years later, the Sharpe or Sarpe. Now on the table we have the Shih Tzu. Mrs S. Point, Sally Poynton was the breed judge today and from an entry of 89 she chose the bitch number 6956 as her best of breed. In the 17th century dogs were brought from Tibet to the forbidden city in Peking, modern day Beijing, from which the Shih Tzu developed. First imported to the UK in the early 1930s, it was recognised as a distinct oriental breed and was granted CC status in 1949. The Shih Tzu. My apologies, the wind has taken my paper away. On the table now, the Tibetan Spaniel. Mark Kokosa was the breed judge today, and from an entry of 41, he selected as his best of breed the bitch, number 7021. The first of the Tibetan breeds to be brought to the UK by returning medical missionaries. It's thought that its origins lie in a mix of Pekingese, Pug, and Japanese Chin bloodlines. They were a favorite of the Tibetan monks who revered them. The breed was recognized by the Kennel Club in 1959. The Tibetan Spaniel. Number 7021, the Tibetan Spaniel. <laughs> On the table now is the Tibetan Terrier. Mr. M. Gislin was the judge today, and from an entry of 
107 chose the bitch number 7053 as best of breed. As a result of its close association with the Laza Apso, this breed was originally classified as the Laza Terrier. The tallest of the Tibetan breeds in the utility group, this is not a terrier per se, but a herding and guarding dog for the traders who travelled to and from China. The breed was recognised by the Kennel Club in 1937. The Tibetan Terrier. Number 7053, the Tibetan Terrier. Now we have the winner of the AV Imported Register Breeds Utility, the Korean Jindo, judged today by Mr. R. Miller from an entry of 19. He selected the bitch, number 7150, as best AV Imported Breeds. The Korean Jindo, originally called the Chindo, comes from South Korea, from an island which was separated from the Korean mainland right up until 1984. It's a highly loyal and intelligent breed and is actually one of South Korea's natural treasures, the Korean Jindo.
being pulled out for further consideration, the Tibetan Terrier. The standard poodle. The toy poodle. Sorry, the miniature poodle. The miniature schnauzer. The Japanese Shiba Inu, the Japanese Akita Inu, the French Bulldog, the Eurasia, the Dalmatian. Give the others a big hand as they're leaving the ring. Thank you. Dogs are now going to go around the main ring up to the top end.
We've now had the boards called, so we're about to find out who the winner is. And the winner of the utility group, the Eurasia. Group two, the Tibetan Terrier. Group three, the Poodle Miniature. And group four, the Miniature Schnauzer. Please give the others a big hand as they're leaving the ring. And on behalf of the Windsor Committee, Ms. Bonnie Wiles is going to present the trophy, and Eleanor Wade representing Royal Cannon with the vouchers, and of course our president, Ms. Unagore, with the rosettes. We also have a magnificent sash from our dogs and a bag from Windsor containing a plate. Take them round, please. The winner of the utility group, the Eurasia. <laughs> group two, the Tibetan Terrier. Group three, the Miniature Poodle. And group four, the Miniature Schnauzer. The group winner's photograph will be taken in the main ring. The other placings in the admin block. Thank you.
We're now ready for the utility poppy group. Derek Smith has prejudged this group, so they'll all be coming in and he'll be making a short list before presenting them for their group placings. Please give him another warm welcome as he's escorted into the ring again by our chairman, Mr. Gerald King, Mr. Derek Smith. First into the ring is the Japanese Shiba Inu, followed by the Tibetan Terrier, the Akita, the Boston Terrier, the Bulldog, the Chow Chow, the Dalmatian, the French Bulldog, the German Spitz Mittel, the German, sorry, the German Spitz Klein, and the German Spitz Mittel the Japanese Shiba Inu, the Akita Inu, the Keishond, the Laza Apso, the Miniature Schnauzer, the Miniature Poodle, the Standard Poodle, the Toy Poodle, the Skipper K, the Shih Tzu, the Tibetan Spaniel, and from the AV Imported Register, the Jolo Quintle. And we have all of the veteran winners in the utility group to go to the collecting ring, please. All winners in the veteran group in utility, please go to the collecting ring now. Thank you. couple of dogs that have not yet been examined by Mr. Smith. The first is the Japanese Shiba Inu. The next dog on the table is the Tibetan Terrier.
the shortlisted dogs are now moving round to the top end of the ring. The Akita, the Dalmatian, the Lazapso, the miniature Schnauzer, the miniature Poodle, the Shih Tzu, the Japanese Shiba Inu, and the Tibetan Terrier. And we're now ready for the board, so we're now about to get a winner. The utility puppy group winner is the Tibetan Terrier. Group two is the miniature poodle. Group three, the miniature schnauzer. And group four, the Akita. Thank you very much to everybody else. Once again, Miss Bonnie Wiles is presenting the trophy on behalf of the Windsor Committee, accompanied by Eleanor Wade of Royal Cannon, one of our principal sponsors, and of course, President Misu Nagor. Take them round, please. The winner of the utility puppy group, the Tibetan Terrier. Group two, the miniature Poodle. Group three, the miniature Schnauzer. And group four, the Akita. Derek Smith, of course, has been judging all the veteran groups. And once again, he hasn't had time 
to prejudge this group, so he'll judge them after they come into the ring. So please welcome Derek Smith once more. First into the ring is the Akita, followed by the Dalmatian. Next comes the German Spitz Klein, the German Spitz Mito, the Japanese Shiba Inu, the Japanese Spitz, the Kesund, the Laza Apso, the Shih Tzu, the Tibetan Spaniel, and the Tibetan Terrier. The first dog being examined is the Akita. Mrs. V. Geddes was the breed judge and she found her veteran in the bitch number 6084. Dalmatians were judged by Miss D. Precious, and she found her veteran in the dog, number 6304. On the table now, the German Spitz Klein. Mrs. M. Craig Woodward was the breed judge and she found her veteran in the bitch, number 6478. On the table now, the German Spitz Mittel. Mrs. M. Craig Woodward also judged this breed and she found her veteran in the bitch, number 6480.
on the table now, the Japanese Shiba Inu. The breed was judged today by Ms. Mr. E. Casey, and he found his veteran in the bitch, number 6550. On the table now, the Japanese Spitz. Mr. R. McLeod was the breed judge today, and he found his best veteran in the bitch, number 6571. Now we have the Kazund. Mrs. M. Harris was the breed judge, and she found her best veteran in the dog, number 6612. Lazas today were judged by Mrs. J. Bromley, and she found her best veteran in the dog, number 6679. On the table now is the Shih Tzu. Shih Tzus were judged today by Sally Poynton and she found her best veteran in the dog, number 6983.
the table now, the Tibetan Spaniel. Mark Kokosa was the breed judge, and his veteran came from the Bitches, number 7004. Tibetan Terriers were judged today by Mr. M. Giesling from Sweden and he found his best veteran in the bitch, number 7085. Can I have your attention, please? Can all the group winners please make your way to the collecting ring? All the group winners please make your way to the collecting ring. Thank you. Now the veterans are making their way round to the top of the ring, gating for the last time. Derek's now asked for the boards, so we'll have a winner very soon. <coughs> the Utility Veteran Group winner is the Dalmatian. <laughs> group 2, the Cajun. Group three, the Japanese Spitz. And group four, the Japanese Shiba Inu. Give the others a big hand as they're leaving the ring, please. And once again, Miss Bonnie Wiles is presenting the trophy on behalf of Windsor. Eleanor Wade representing Royal Cannon and of course our president Misuna Gore with the rosettes and the Windsor Plate.
take them round, please. The winner of the utility veteran group, the Dalmatian, followed by group two, the Kazon, group three, the Japanese Spitz, and group four, the Japanese Shiba Inu. The group winner will get the photograph taken in the main ring and thank the other three.
Ladies and gentlemen, we've now reached the climax of Windsor 2023. Best in show will be judged by Mr. Jeff Corrish. Jeff is one of the few all-breed professional handlers in the UK. He's won every major award in the show ring, including two best in shows at Crofts with the West Highland White Terrier and the Laza Apso. He's one of the few breeder owner handlers to have won best in show at Crofts and then to actually judge best in show at Crofts, the latter being in 2013. Please give a very warm welcome to our best in show judge, Jeff Corrish, being escorted into the ring by our chairman, Mr. Gerald King. Coming into the ring first is the winner of the Terrier group on day one, the Border Terrier. <laughs> Followed by the winner of the Toy, sorry, I beg your pardon. The Toy group winner has had to send apologies, having been stuck on the M6 for five hours, has had to actually return home to Scotland, so he's dreadfully disappointed and sends sincere apologies to Mr. Corrish. Next into the ring is the winner of the working group, the St. Bernard from day two. Next is the winner of the pastoral group on day two, the Australian Shepherd. Next, the winner of the Gundog group on day three, the English setter. <laughs> now we have the winner of the Hound group from today, the Saluki. And finally, the winner of the utility group, the Eurasia. Can the best puppy group winners please come to the collecting ring? Best puppy group winners to the collecting ring, please. From day one, the Border Terrier was actually sent through to the group by Mr. Corrish. So we're now having a, a move of the Border Terrier. Please give them a show of support. From day two, the winner of the working group sent through by Mrs. Maggie Bryant, the St. Bernard.
the St. Bernard. Also from day two, the winner of the pastoral group sent through by Mrs. Christina Bailey, the Australian Shepherd. From day three, the winner of the Gundog Group, sent through by Mrs. Jill Simpson, the English setter. The English Setter. <laughs> and from today, the winner of the Hound Group, sent through by Mrs. Sue Erges, the Saluki. Saluki. And from today also, the utility group winner, sent through by Mrs. Jean Sharp Bale, the Eurasia. the Eurasia. So we're seeing the Border Terrier move around the ring. Please give them a show of support. And now the St. Bernard. Pastoral group winner, 
the Australian Shepherd. The gun dog winner, the English Setter. winner the Saluki. The utility winner the Eurasia. have been called out now so we'll now very shortly know who best in show at Windsor 2023 is. And best in show goes to the Australian Shepherd. And reserve best in show the St Bernard. Well done to the other group winners as they leave the ring. The Terrier group winner, the Gundog group winner, the Hound winner, and the Utility group winner. And it gives me great pleasure to introduce President of Windsor, Professor Steve Dean, who will come in presenting the trophy and the extremely large rosette, along with Gerald King, Chairman of Windsor, with large rosette for Reserve Best in Show, and £100 goes to the Best in Show winner, courtesy of Our Dogs and Bird Book. Please take them round. The winner of Best in Show at Windsor 2023, the Australian Shepherd, and Reserve Best in Show, the St Bernard.
ladies and gentlemen, our best puppy and show judge is Derek Smith. Derek's Clickham Collies were founded in the early 1960s. He began his judging career in 1964 and awarded his first set of CCs in 1972. Being a highly respected judge has resulted in him having undertaken appointments all over the world. Derek judged Best in Show at Crafts in 2016. Not many people will know that away from the world of dogs, Derek has a passion for Arabian horses and he's been a member of the Arabian Horse Society for over 20 years. Please give him a very warm welcome for this Best Puppy and Show appointment, being escorted into the ring by our secretary, Mrs. Susie Wiles. Mr. Derek Smith. Coming into the ring is the winner of the Terrier group on the first day, the Fox Terrier Smooth. Followed by the winner of the toy group, the Pekingese. <laughs> From the second day, the winner of the working group, the Boxer. Also from day two, the winner of the pastoral group, the Polish Lowland Sheepdog. From day three, the gun dog winner is the pointer. From today, the winner of the Hound Group, the Whippet. And also from today, the Utility Group winner, the Tibetan Terrier. All these wonderful puppies were originally judged by Derek, so he's able to make a selection from all of the dogs he chose to send forward to today. the Smooth Fox Terrier. Now we have the Pekingese. Now we have the boxer. And now the Polish Lowland Sheepdog.
And now the pointer. And the whip it. And finally, the Tibetan Terrier. Derek's now going to have one final look at these lovely puppies that he's chosen. And we're now ready for the boards. Best puppy in the show at Windsor 2023, the boxer. And reserve best puppy and show the Tibetan Terrier. Please give the others a big hand as they leave the ring. The puppy hound winner, the puppy gun dog winner, the puppy pastoral winner, the puppy toy winner, and of course, the puppy terrier winner. Once again, our president, Professor Steve Dean, is awarding the trophy for best in show and the rosette and the Windsor bag with the plate. <coughs> and Chairman, Mr. Gerald King, is presenting the trophy and rosette to the Reserve Best Puppy in Show. Take them round, please. Best Puppy in Show, the Boxer. And Reserve Best Puppy in Show, the Tibetan Terrier.
Ladies and gentlemen, we're now ready for Best Veteran Show to be judged. And once again, Mrs. Susie Wiles, our secretary, is escorting our judge, Mr. Derek Smith, into the ring. Derek's worked extremely hard over the past four days, judging all the puppy groups and all the veteran groups. So we're very grateful to him. Uh, coming into the ring now is the winner of the Terrier group, the veteran group, from day one, the West Highland White Terrier. Also from day one, the winner of the toy veteran group, the Papillon. From day two, the winner of the working group, veteran, the Portuguese water dog. Also from day two, the veteran pastoral group winner, the bearded collie. From day three, the gun dog veteran group winner, the English Springer Spaniel. From today, day four, the veteran hound group winner, the, Be the Beagle. And also from today, the veteran utility group winner, the Dalmatian. Derek's judged all of these dogs over the past four days. So he's now going to give them one final look as obviously they were all his choice. Now seeing one final gate, the West Highland White Terrier. The Papillon. The Portuguese water dog. The bearded collie. Keep it. The English Springer Spaniel. The Beagle. and the Dalmatian.
Derek's giving these lovely dogs one last look. He's now ready for the boards, so very shortly we'll know who Best Veteran in Show is. And Best Veteran in Show at Windsor 2023, the Dalmatian, the winner of the Utility Group. And Reserve Best Veteran in Show, the English Springer Stan Spaniel from the Gundog Group. Please give the others a big hand as they're leaving. The winner of the Hound Group Veteran, the Beagle, the Pastoral Group Veteran, the Bearded Collie, the Working Group Veteran, the Portuguese Water Dog, the Toy Group Veteran, the Papillon, and of course the Terrier Group Veteran, the West Highland White Terrier. Once again, President Professor Steve Dean, sorry, I had a lump in my throat there. Professor Steve Dean is walking into the ring to present the trophy, followed by Chairman Mr. Gerald King. With someone, I said trophy, Gerald. <laughs> Along with wonderful rosettes to both of the winners. Please take them round, winner of Best Veteran in Show at Windsor, the Dalmatian, and Reserve Best Veteran in Show, the English Springer Spaniel. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Officers and Committee of Windsor, I'd like to thank you for your support during the past four days. I'd also like to thank our sponsors, Royal Cannon and our dogs and Birdbrook for the Best in Show sponsorship. And a big hand to all the hard-working members of the Windsor team who are working in the background. Look forward to seeing you next year. A safe trip home to all of you. Good evening. <laughs>